Hi guys, I guess you know about Windows 11. It was recently released, everybody's talking about it, that is amazing, whatever. Okay, I have to see it for myself. So let's install it. I will use the ISO, which you can download from Microsoft site without any license, no problem if you are just curious about it or if you want to know if you can install it on your computer you don't really need to buy it. Of course I will not install it directly on this Mac because I don't want to. I can use for that VMware Fusion. And you can choose install from disk or image. Continue. You choose the version Microsoft Windows. It doesn't have Windows 11 but it doesn't matter. It has Windows 10 and later x64 of course so you choose this one here you will have to select ufi secure boot in order to install windows 11 and continue you have to customize settings save you need to do something else in order for windows 11 to to run so let me first choose for okay six processors and i don't know 10 gig of ram you have to do encryption and I will show you why you have to do encryption because otherwise you will not be able to choose trusted platform module. So without this, you will not be able to install Windows 11. I've tried to get a window where it will tell you that this PC can't run Windows 11. So you have to install trusted platform module and you cannot install trusted platform module if you do not have your virtual disk encrypted. Let's start this VM and see what's happening. Okay, so they've changed the Windows logo. Now it's uh, it's straight, it's no more whatever how it was. This is the first sign that tells you it's not Windows 10 or previous or Windows 9. <laughs> install now so I do not have product key I will just select I do not have product key and one from the list let's choose Windows 11 Pro so there is one virtual disk 60 gigs this part is similar to the previous Windows installation there is no I simply do not see any difference between this one and a Windows uh, 10's one. Let's do next. So this means everything is fine, it's going through the installation. Let's return when the installation is done. Okay. We are on the final installation steps. Restart. Let's restart now. Getting ready is getting boring didn't change much yet so far the experience is the same probably to restart two times of course yay Let's name our device. Very catchy, right? Don't tell me you restart again. Of course, it restarts again. Just another moment. Come on, man. Privacy settings. No. No. Checking for updates again. And we are here. Let's see if we can stretch it. No, we cannot stretch it yet. So this means we will need to install VMware tools first 
DVD setup. Let's see. No, different sounds. Next. Complete. Next install. I bet you need restart. Of course. Okay, let's see if we can stretch it to the screen. Yay, we can do that. Perfect. Okay. Okay, nice. Now they have the icons in the middle, not on the left side. Windows menu is different widgets. Okay, you need the Microsoft account for widgets. What is this? Oh, interesting. So now you you have an option which was on macOS and on Linux for a long time already to create a new desktop. And then you want and you choose between them. They've changed some stuff. It looks more nice now. I like it. So as you can see, you can install Windows 11 on Intel Mac, this is Intel Mac, with the help of VMware Fusion. Two things that you have to do in order to install it, you have to encrypt the disk and after you encrypt the disk you have to choose Trusted Platform Module. Without these two settings you will not be able to install Windows 11. You have seen it doesn't look that bad. Now I put it in full screen mode, you would not even notice that you are on a virtual machine. It looks like a normal machine and you can switch from one to another very nicely. This is one of the reasons I love macOS. I will keep testing it to see how it goes and I will let you know. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, no problem. Feedback is feedback and see you in the next one. Bye!